Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, the last video we did was how to create a local account. This video is how to remove either a local or any accounts that you might have on Windows 10. Now it's very important you can't remove the account you're logged in that's very important and if your other accounts are not admin you cannot remove your main account from there you need to activate that account as an administrative account before it can be done that you'll remove the main account. So it's a w way of doing things to make sure that you don't do something bad that you can't go back. So to remove an account, once again, you can remove the same account that you're in. You need to remove another account. You go into your settings. You go into accounts. You go into family and other users on the left side there you will see your accounts so if you have family member or family accounts you'll see them here if you have other users you'll see them at the bottom so whatever account you want to remove click on it and then there's something called remove so you click remove it's going to tell you what do you want to do delete account and data or not and it says deleting this person's account will remove all the data including items on their desktop and downloads and every folder that if created with that user, everything is going to be emptied. So you just click delete account and data and you let it be. Now the more data, the more stuff there was in that account, the longer it will take to delete the account. So it's very important. It might take a long time on some accounts in order to delete them. But once it's done, it'll disappear from here, as you see. And that also means that once you actually restart your PC, you will not see the login information for that account anymore. So that's how you remove an account. It's as easy as that to remove any types of accounts within Windows 10. Once again, you can't remove the account you're in. So if you only and if you only have one account, you can't remove that account. You have to create a new administrative account. Once that is set up and working, then you'll be able from an administrative account to remove another account. That's very important. People tend to go and it's like, well, I want to remove this account. You can't. You're in it. You can't remove what you're in. You got to remove it from another account. So you'll create a new account and then you'll remove the main account if you wish. If you uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.